Salute, folks. It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor, Alonzo Hall, your social media insurance broker. And I've returned today to wrap and tap on your head with yet another ADH Wealth Solution. Today, I want to talk about something that's prevalent in the black community in regards to uh, the churches or religion. Uh, specifically religion. I don't particularly uh, ascribe to one or the other, um, but I do understand that uh, even in the non-secular world, uh, you still need uh, this thing called money that is part of the secular world. Before I continue, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. So today, folks, I want to talk about something called a CRT, which is a charitable remainder trust. And the reason that, again, I'm doing a lot of these conversations is because it is Liam Life Insurance Awareness Month. And one of the very uh, <clears throat> prevalent things in the black community with churches is uh, donations and paying tithes. So uh, I have a friend who's part of the Jewish community who explains that yes, we do need to have money so we can donate and do things uh, for the community. Well, I was on YouTube uh, yesterday with a, a panel of people and they were mentioning the Christian church in the black community and how uh, things have changed uh, vastly since uh, decades ago when the black before the uh, 501c3 status uh, where black churches had tax exemption and they could do things like financial outreach well one of the great things is that with something such as a charitable remainder trust you can actually uh, instead of just paying your tithes directly to the church uh, instead of giving the church your 10%, maybe you give them 5% and you put the other 5% inside of a life insurance policy. The reason life insurance is so powerful and effective is because using this life insurance, you can actually uh, multiply your money. So that 10% of tithes, let's say you make $100,000 a year and you give the church $10,000 a year. Well, $1 put into a life insurance policy will automatically multiply your money. And nobody knows the time that they're going to be called home. So what you can do is with that 5%, you can actually have that uh, be selected as the church being a beneficiary, which would be the char charity. Uh, you would have to work with an attorney to set up the charitable remainder trust. However, uh, once, you know, Ms. Johnson uh, passes, she can actually leave a very substantial amount of money to the church to do things like repairs or to uh, pay the, uh, the, the, the clergy to actually uh, profess or uh, give their sermons to the parishioners because we still have to make a living, uh, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, or what have you, um, these things can be left to your religious institution. Uh, again, in the form of a charitable remainder trust. So ironically enough, something that uh, Warren Buffett is doing, I believe he's leaving his $149 billion to charity. He's not just going to donate it to charity. Trust me, he has something called a charitable remainder trust. So whilst he's alive and he's selected for this money to go to a place, it's also a tax benefit to him whilst he's alive. Uh, these are the things that a lot of the wealthy do. And... Uh, Whilst I do have a love-hate relationship uh, with a particular company that recommends buying term and investing the rest called Primerica, their goal is to bring Wall Street to Main Street. And Wall Street is usually considered to be a lot of wealthy fat cats. And these are a lot of the strategies that they use. And one of the things that uh, Main Street America can do is implement a lot of these strategies themselves. So if you're interested in actually leaving some kind of a legacy to your 
uh, church or a any charity for that matter, uh, make sure you find my links and let's schedule a consult so that we can <clears throat> create this legacy for you. That's going to be it for today, folks. Make sure to hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass. Work in progress every day and see success. And remember, folks, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute.